Hey guys, it's Allie here, and I'm going to be doing the peanut burn challenge with Willow. I got some paints at the store, as you can see. Um, those are all the colors. But let's just get into this challenge. Um, so, it was really a struggle to get the paints out, but I finally got them out. And I had to pick my colors. So, this is me just showing what all the colors look like. These are the colors I picked. Um, if you don't know what the peanut butter challenge is, it's where you put peanut butter on a Ziploc baggie, it, which is what I'm doing right here. And, um, you get a canvas, you put paint on it, and you put it inside the Ziploc baggie. So they don't eat the paint. They lick the peanut butter so they can paint. Uh, so no doggos are harmed in this video. But look at Willow. She's being so cute. Oh, oh. Yep. Um, she really started, um, like, begging for the peanut butter while I was making it when she found out there was peanut butter. So, this is just kind of me trying to get her to go away. <laughs> um, yeah. It doesn't look like it's working very well, though. There you go. Now I can peacefully spread. I, I don't know what's going on through my mind because I'm just vibing over here and then willow just jumps and ruins all of that huh okay let's see okay i i finished putting the peanut butter on there it's time to do the paint and i forgot there is plastic on it all right we got the plastic off and really you just squeeze a bunch of paint on there and then you put it inside the bag i would really recommend doing this because it was so fun and it was like it was really not that messy like at all here's me trying to put it into the peanut butter bag um i am going to let it dry obviously you have to let it dry because it's paint but after it dries, I plan on, um, oh, here we go. We're about to go outside. I plan on doing, like, a portrait. I'm going to try to draw, uh, not draw, paint Willow on the canvas. It's really cute. Like, I came up, like, I had an idea of my head whenever I wanted to do the peanut butter challenge. And then I saw somebody else do my same exact idea which technically it's not my idea anymore because, I mean, it was, but they probably, well, they definitely came up with it before me. But I saw them do it, and it was just really cute. So I want to try it with, do it with my dog. So here's Willow just being the little Picasso she is. Adorable. She is an artist, okay? I'm just kind of trying to hold the Ziploc baggie for her. You can just leave them. I would. Ooh, let's see what the Picasso made. Mm, beautiful. I would. Um, I would always say like to supervise your dog, no matter what they're doing, no matter how safe it is, because uh, it's a Ziploc baggie with paint, and you don't want them like trying to bite it or eat it, like through the bag. So, always watch your dog, especially when you're doing any activity. But you can, you don't have to hold Ziploc baggie, but I just went ahead and helped her out. This is me opening up the bag. I was going to pull it out, but I didn't want to mess up her work of art. Like, I didn't want to smudge it. So, I just got scissors and I just snipped I just glided through to cut it and just lift up the piece of plastic to get it out. It was way easier to do it and it doesn't mess up your dog's work of art. So here we go. I'm about to, ooh, such pretty colors. So pretty. I'm gonna go let it 
Oh, okay, I forgot. Obviously, I let it dry after this, but I'll be honest with you. I did take out some of the smudges. Well, like the clumps in the painting. Because, like I said, I'm going to paint a portrait of Willow on there. And I need it as smooth as possible. So I smoothed it out a bit and let it dry. Um, yeah, I really recommend this for your dog. I hope you enjoyed the video and bye bye!